Today's lesson is volumes of pyramids and cones. Our objective was to find the volume of pyramids and cones. Open your textbook page 309. We will start with check skills you will need this part. In the top left. The first question How are the shapes of pyramids and cones different? Of course, we have difference here because the pace of a pyramid is a polygon, whereas the pace of a cone is a circle. Of course, we know that the circle is not considered a polygon. What's the shape of the pace in each of these two figures? In the first one, the pace in this pyramid, the pace is square and of course this is a square pyramid and the second one the base is a circle Ahmed says that uh, there is another difference between the pyramid and the cone be, uh, and because the pyramid has edges and the cone does not has uh, does not have any edge okay so that's right also and the main difference here is the pace in the second one here the pace is a circle this is cone okay now in the same page we'll get the main idea in this lesson you consider a volume when you fill an ice cream cone or use a funnel. The, contest, the contents are uh, you need to fill a prism with base area B capital will fill exactly three pyramids with the same base area and the same height as the prism so the volume of a pyramid is third the volume of the prism so it's third the product of the pace area and the height now in example one in the same page we're going to find the volume of this square pyramid to the nearest cubic centimeter okay at first we know that the base length is 10 so the base area is 10 square which is 100 and to find the height the height is not given in the question so we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem you can use it this way or this way h equal square root of the hypotenuse square minus the side square and the result will be 12 so the height of the, uh, the pyramid is 12 now apply the rule of the volume third multiplied by base area multiplied by height so it's third multiplied by 100 multiplied by 12 which is 400 so the volume of the pyramid is about three uh, uh, is 400 centimeter cube uh, in this uh, in this example we didn't need to use uh, any approximation so this is the exact answer now let's move to the workbook 
page 90 please mute your mic and open your workbook page 90 The volume of a pyramid is third base area multiplied by height and also the same of a cone is third base area multiplied by height. In the first example, we have a square pyramid with base length, the length of the, the square is 8 feet and the height of the pyramid is 10 feet. Now at first let's start with the base area. The area is a square so the rule of area of square is S square and S is the side length which is 8 so substitute 8 for S and 8 square is 64 now let's use the base area to find the volume the rule third base area multiplied by height so third multiplied by 64 and the height is 10 so substitute 64 for B and 10 for H Simplify this, you will find the answer approximately 213. So the volume of the pyramid is approximately equal to 213 feet cube. Let's move to the next example. In this one, we will find the volume of a cone. Okay, let's do the same. At first, find the area of the base. The base is a circle, and the area of circle is pi r square. So pi, we'll leave it as it is. And what about r? Can anyone tell me what is the radius for this cone? 5 excellent so r is half the diameter the diameter of the base is 10 the diameter of the circle is 10 so the radius of the same circle is 5 and r is 5 so substitute 5 for r simplify this it will be 25 pi and now find the volume this is the formula of the volume and substitute 25 by for B and the height as shown in the figure it's 4 now just multiply 4 multiply 25 is 100 and I will divide that by 3 or multiply by third and the answer will be approximately 105 so the volume to the nearest cubic centimeter is 105 great now it's your turn to try to solve question 1, 2, quick check, page 91, you have 3 minutes. You can use the same steps as we did.
great Ahmad solve the second one amazing great Mad also great Okay guys, one minute left. Try to finish number two. Okay, Abdullah, number two. Okay, the first one, the answer is 92 cubic meters. And that's because the base area is 5 square, which is 25. So we're going to multiply 25 by the height 11 by third. Don't forget that the rule is third is area multiplied height okay in the second one the radius is 3 anyone no one get the answer okay yes okay great Muhammad good Abdullah great Muhammad excellent okay guys at first, use this radius to find the base area, pi r square. So, it will be 9, because the square of 3 is, not, uh, is 9. So, it's 9 pi. Multiply this by the height, <coughs> 14, and multiply by third. So, 9 pi, multiplied third, multiplied 14. And the answer will be approximately... 132 cubic meters great work and thank you for participating and being active with me now I want you to go to Classera and try to solve the assignment if you have any question you can ask me now if you don't have a question you can leave the conversation thank you guys goodbye